Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Beer Goalkeeper episode 50. <laughs> that is right, we've made it so far in this goalkeeper career and I couldn't have done it without all your support, it's been absolutely incredible stuff. I've also set myself a goal of trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year so don't forget to subscribe, also smash that like button into the top corner, turn your notifications on and let's get into this episode. So first game is against Crystal Palace away from home and Arteta is absolutely doing my head in. I do not know why we are not playing wingers in this game every time it's a centre bid. Also we can see the goal within the first 11 minutes which is ridiculous but playing some more wingers we just put centre mids Ward Prowse, Samba always on the left mid right mid it's ridiculous stuff. I'm getting a little bit annoyed of it also I'm getting annoyed of conceding goals like this. Look at the space he had no one near him Took a little deflection to get the ball into the box, but look at that. I tried covering my near post because everyone goes near post. He went across, tucked it in the bottom corner. Not much I really could do about it. It's disappointing. 1-0 down. We did get a half chance with Osserman. He hits it straight into the centre back there. Good block. Doesn't quite make the connection. And that's half time already. Not a lot happened in the first half. We have been very poor. Hopefully the second half can be a load better because we need some big points here. We finally managed to get an opportunity here. Ward Prowse gets the ball a target. But it's not a very good shot at all. Keeper gets his hands to it. Had a little bit of power behind the shot but just didn't have the direction. Keeper didn't really have to move too much. Easy enough save. Still not good enough. We are fighting to win this league. We're not that far behind United or Liverpool. This is not good enough from us and we concede another goal. 2-0 down against Crystal Palace. It's just very shoddy defending overall. No one is closing the ball down at all. It's Karate of all people as well. The centre back CDM shouldn't be scoring. No one near him. Look at the passing. No closing down. Hits it. Karate can't get the block in. I can't move across my line quick enough. Centre of the goal. It's just disappointing from everyone. We have let our team down here big time. We're near the end of the game now and Sambi gets a good opportunity. One of the keeper hits it low but the keeper gets his foot to it. And again the left side seems to do very well. This time it's straight at the keeper. Very disappointing. I get subbed off. Four shots against. Zero saves. Two blocks in there as well. And we lose 3-1. Leno always comes on and concedes a goal. It doesn't matter what time it is. He will find a way to concede. We score and concede. So technically, I'm still number one keeper. So we move on to the next game. We're playing at home against Burnley. Our bogey team. We always perform very badly against them. Eight minutes into the game. But Osman changed that. Look at that strike. That is ridiculous. I have no idea how he squeezed it at the near post. The touch. He chips it up as well. Ridiculous stuff. The passing play around the box. Nice quick passes. One, two. Easy. Look at that. He just chips it up up to himself takes a touch and just wellies it past the keeper on the half body the keeper is very sus here he should be performing much better he dives too early doesn't even put his hand up i don't know what he is doing maybe it's his first time maybe it's premier league debut or something maybe he is feeling the nerves but this goal is ridiculous he has no right to be scoring from that angle somebody who should be scoring his floors here and look at this i don't know how he has missed the goal completely he's whiffed his lines straight past the post he had a bit of time took it first time though just skews his shot past the post he should be doing a load better very disappointing i know he's young but that is half time one nil osman with the goal burnley haven't really given us too much trouble in the first half hopefully they can in the second half i make my first save b the ball for some reason, our right back decides to be the ball. I have no idea what's going on. It's FIFA after all. Ridiculous things happen. I don't know what's going on. This is ridiculous stuff. He's had enough of being a right back. He wants to be the ball because the ball ends up in the back of the net. This time it's Osman once more and the keeper is absolutely shocking. I'm so glad he's playing for the opposition team. This is a poor performance from himself. Osman just hits it low. He gets a finger dip to it. Pushes it into the back of his own net. 2 0 now. This is the performance we want after losing 2 0 to Crystal Palace as well. We are definitely letting Burnley know what we are about today. And now they finally get their first opportunity. I make the save. This time I make it with my face. My head is massive. It's always a good opportunity to hit it straight in the lip. Pow, right in the kiss it. That is what goalkeeping is all about. Textbook goalkeeping. This time we got a third goal. It's Flores finally with the goal. Osman not being selfish at all. He could have got his hat trick. But he decided to give Flores a bit of confidence. Burnley are 3-0 down now. They did not turn up to this game at all. The play is beautiful on the left side again. Sambi to Osman. one twosies. And look how unselfish he is. Pass it across to Flores. He knows he has the better opportunity to score the goal. Gives him some confidence as well. But so unselfish. He could have been greedy. Try getting his hat trick. But he did not. It's a good finish. And that is where this game ends 3-0 we are finally back on it. another clean sheet for myself two saves the goalkeeper for Burnley was very poor and we have some new faces now and Didi assigned for us really ridiculous and another one Diaz that is mental oh, no, no. 
We finally have a winger, but he does not start. Once again, he's playing two centre mids, left mid and right mid. Arteta needs sorting out. I have no idea. It's driving me crazy at the moment. Leicester City are our opponents in the third match of today's episode. A little half chance there, but this time we get a good chance. And look at that save by... Oh, nah, nah. That is crazy. I don't know how he saved that one. Sambi, I think it is, hits the ball very hard. But Onana with the quick hands. It's a very good save, to be fair to him. I don't know how he has done it, but he did. Another opportunity now. This time it's Flores, and he finds that top corner. He's got the confidence from the last game. That's a beautiful strike. He finds the top corner like you should with that like button. Remember to like the video. It's what Flores would want you to do because this goal is crazy good. Just inside the box, and Onana has no chance of that one. He puts a futile effort into the dive, top corner all day long, doesn't get anywhere near it, and 1-0 up already, good start from us. Just before the 30 minute mark, Osman, look at all the space he has in the box, pass it across to Pueda, who finds the back of the net on his return back from injury, he gets his goal, and what a goal it is, Osman, look at all the space he had, Pueda, no one's marking him at all, Leicester City have fallen apart defensively already. They do not want anything to do with us in this game. Look at the space. He had all the time in the world to turn it. No one followed Puedo and he finds the back net. Onana had no chance of that one. 2-0 in 30 minutes. We have definitely moved on from that Crystal Palace game. Scoring five goals in two games so far. Leicester finally decided to turn up for an attack this time. I think I make the save, but I do not. It's Trusty, my centre-back, the youngster who makes the block. It's a fantastic block, to be honest. I don't know why he is there, but I'm glad he was. That is a goal-saving block, and that is the half-time whistle. 2-0 It's a good half from us. But this game is not over. Next goal could be the deciding factor. We get the first opportunity of the second half. Onana comes charging out. Hits his hands to the ball. Always at centre back. But he's off his line now. And Sambi chips him with the head and loops over him. And I have no idea what Onana's complained about. He is all over the place. Charged out for no reason. Did not trust his centre backs at all. The cross is not a very good one on the penalty spot. It charges out. Look at that. I don't know what is going on. Oderweld can't get to the ball even. Sambi just finds the back of there. It's a good header to be honest. Looping over loads of defenders and the goalkeeper as well. Odeworld headers into Sambi, trying to knock him out or something, but the header's a beautiful one. I cannot believe the composure from the youngster. Look at that, trying to suck his blood even. What is going on here? Odeworld does not want to play football anymore. He's going for blood from the neck. Sambi does not look impressed though. Leicester get their first opportunity of the second half. Right side, pass it into the box, hits it at the near post, but I am there to cover it this time. I do not want to get beaten at my near post, but this time I do a good job. Cover it completely. I'm on the goal line pretty much. He still went for it though, ridiculous. It wouldn't surprise if it went in, to be honest but I do bounce off the post a little bit finally another opportunity this time they cross it deep I am there knocked a man over that ball is mine all day long this is the best opportunity they've made so far and I make the save again I'm getting a little bit of form again we've conceded a fair few goals in the last few episodes but now I'm finally getting back into goalkeeping the save decent height for me I get two hands that push it over as well but I want to keep a clean sheet another long range opportunity I will take that all day long they can shoot from that far this time they do find the back of the net though and I'm pretty annoyed with myself I was stood in the no man's land I couldn't really decide what to do Tellyman's with the goal but I was trying to cover the cross not the near post and he hits it at the near post and yeah I can see that it's my fault to be honest the man in the middle I wasn't trusting my defenders at all and he just bangs it in the near post I didn't think I left that much of a gap but apparently I left a gaping hole there finds the back of the net we are still winning by two goals and that is where the game ends 3-1 Flores Puedo and Sambi on the goal sheet I make two decent saves Onana made two saves as well but conceded three it's not very good from it at all and now we move on to the semi-finals against Barnsley in the Carabao Cup and we should absolutely smash Barnsley they should be nowhere near our level but this is the cup and it always goes wrong for the big teams and I don't know what is going on there for Barnsley player he had the opportunity and just hit it very softly I take out the man there to get the ball two hands on the ball easy enough for me and this time Flores I was screaming at him to hit this ball it's the perfect opportunity he just can't find the target it just perfectly fell to him I was just like hit it hit it and he did hit it just dribbles past the post not too bad the goalkeeper was struggling a little bit and that is half time nil nil not a lot happened and I don't know why we should be controlling this game making passes quick passes one two easy all like this is not our game plan so lofted ball into the back post he wins the header but not even on target and we have just not done very well at all this time Pueda on the half when he hits the post that is ridiculous I have no idea where that came from the Barnsley player just pass it perfect to him it chips up off his foot and he bounces on the half while he hits the crossbar just clips the outside of the post and it's unfortunate not to find the back of the net 
Barnsley get the first proper opportunity of the game. Hits it at the near post and again I make the save. This time it's another good one. I'm on the goal line once more. I'm covering this one with my whole body. It's a good opportunity. Chipped cross. Hits it on the volley. It's a good strike to be fair to him. I make the save with my shoulder it looks like. I thought it could have been my head. I am lucky on that tour. If I was any shorter that would have gone straight over my shoulder. But that's full time nil nil. So we have to play the second leg. This time we're going to be at home though. But that is going to be it for the end of the episode. We go through the player stats. Most Salah top goal scorer at the moment. I'm actually top clean sheet for somehow i got 16 i don't know where that has come from i'm pretty sure i have not kept 16 clean sheets but i will take it but that is it for the end of the episode i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave like and subscribe turn notifications on and as always look after yourself stay safe and i'll speak to you next time goodbye